Is Tyson Fury trolling here or is he serious? He says that if Deontay Wilder decides to part company with Mark Breland, that he's happy to find a role for Breland in Team Fury. Now, Breland obviously was a cronk fighter. He was a, a world champion in his day. And Tyson Fury is now with the head trainer of the cronk gym, uh, Javon Sugar Hill. So it would be a homecoming of sorts if Mark Breland was to involve himself in Team Fury. You've obviously also got uh, Andy Lee, another uh, Kronk fighter there, or former Kronk fighter. So that's why I say I'm not sure whether Tyson Fury's trolling or whether he's serious, because bringing another Kronk man in would actually make some kind of sense. Because Mark Breland understands the Kronk style, he understands the technical aspects of what they're trying to do there. The only thing is, how many people does Tyson Fury really need in his team? He's already got Andy Lee, who's his cousin and a former professional. He's already got Javon Sugar Hill, the nephew of uh, Emmanuel Stewart. So why add anybody else? Why put someone else on the payroll? I mean, is it just about charity? Maybe it is about trolling Deontay Wilder. So I'm going to quote something the Gypsy King said, word for word, from a recent interview on IFL. He said, if for some reason Mark Breland will not be working with Deontay Wilder, then he will have a job with the Gypsy King because he's very good at what he does and he's got the best interest of the fighter. I respect him. He's a cronk fighter and a former world champion. And I do believe if it wasn't for Mark Breland, Wilder could be seriously injured today. He got a lot of criticism from his team, which I thought was very unfair and unjust because he saved his life. All right. So, yeah. I mean, it sounds cool, you know, when Tyson Fury says stuff like that. And obviously, I agree with him with regards to Mark Breland having the best interest of his fighter at heart. But again, does Fury need that? He's already got. Javon Sugar Hill, who surely has his best interests at heart. He's got Andy Lee in his team, who definitely has his best interests at heart, because that's his cousin. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys make of this? Is it just Tyson Fury trolling the hell out of Deontay Wilder? Or is he serious? Would he actually bring Mark Breland on board in some capacity? Because you look at his training team at the moment, you've got the likes of uh, Javon Sugar Hill, who he's paying Andy Lee. They're not the oldest guys in the world. Like Andy Lee, I think he's still in his 30s. I'm not sure how old Javon Sugar Hill is, but he's not that old. So it's not like there's anyone there who is incapable of, you know, holding pads or moving around with him or whatever. So I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is it just Tyson Fury being Tyson Fury or could Mark Breland actually add something to their setup? Maybe Mark Breland could work with some other fighters who are associated with Fury. Maybe he could just bring himself back into the Kronk setup rather than being down there in Alabama. You know, maybe that's what it's more about. Maybe uh, Javon Sugar Hill has told Tyson Fury, send word out to Mark Breland. But then again, why would Fury do that? Mark Breland could just call him himself. Uh, excuse me, Javon Sugar Hill could just call Mark Breland himself, you know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. It's happening, I'm out.